Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1767. And in this video, we got to see how to count unique dates using a formula or a pivot table. Now the goal is to get a unique list of video numbers over here. And then because some videos are created over the same date, we need to, for a particular video, count the unique dates. Now the easiest way is to use a pivot table. But it's not a normal pivot table. It's going to be a data model pivot table. Now the problem with a standard pivot table, and I created a standard pivot table here, is that when you right click Summarize Values By to get to the aggregate calculations down to More Options, the 11 functions that have been around since 1993 and there's some good functions here, but there's no unique count. So to create a data model pivot table, we're going to go up to Insert, click the Pivot Table button. And we do want to take that table there, and we do want to put it on this existing sheet. But you got to check Add This to the Data Model. Now when we check Add to the Data Model, this data set get stored in a behind the scenes columnar database. Now that columnar database is made for big data, like millions of rows of data. But we're going to use this add to data model as a hack to get to a distinct count function that shows up when you add data to the data model. I'm going to click OK, scroll over. When we drag video number down to rows, instantly we get a unique list. Now I can drag date down to values. And it does default to count. But now when I right click Summarize Values By, More Options, if I scroll down, there's a new function. When I click OK, now I have my distinct count. And sure enough, for video two, there's not four. There's three unique dates. Now you're done with this data model pivot table. But if you want to go look at the behind the scenes Power Pivot window, you can go to the Data Ribbon tab, Manage Data Model. It opens up the Power Pivot for Excel window. And this is just a preview of what is stored in the columnar database. Now when you use the Summarize Values By feature in a data model pivot table, there's supposed to be a record here of the measure that's created. But when you drag and drop from inside the pivot table, rather than creating them manually, they're hidden by default. So you have to go up to Advanced, Show Implicit Measure. And sure enough, there's two read-only measures. There's one for the count. Here's one for the distinct count. And now we want to see how to do it with formulas. Now we're using Microsoft 365 Excel. Or this will also work in Excel 2021. We need a sorted, so we use the sort function. And we need a unique list, so we use the unique function. And then we highlight video number, close, close. And this formula delivers multiple answers. So when I hit Enter, all the values spill into the worksheet. Now with dynamic spilled array formulas, notice every spilled value is grayed up in the formula bar. The formula only lives in the top cell. So when you want to edit, you always come to the top cell. Now let's see the formula to count unique. Now there's no count unique function. But if I could get my formula to filter the date column based on video one, then we could put that result into the unique function. So we'll first use another amazing dynamic spilled array function in Microsoft 365 filter. Now the array, we need to filter the dates, comma. And we want to include clicking on the whole video number column and asking the question, how many of you are equal to that video as a relative cell reference? Now when I close parentheses, this will spill the results. And these are dates. So the formula shows the serial number date. But sure enough, there's a duplicate right at the top. So in the top cell, F2, now we can simply use unique. Now close parentheses, and this will spill the result. But those are serial number dates, which are numbers. So I hit F2, and we count numbers using the count function. And that's our formula for counting unique dates based on a condition, in our case, video number. 
Control Enter. And then I can double click and send it down. I go to the last cell and hit F2. And the formula at the bottom of the column is looking accurate. Now here's bonus number one. And we're going to go way old school. Control V. That's the crazy array formula we had to use before Microsoft 365. You had to know to use frequency when you were doing unique count. You had to use an if. You had to use match in a weird way. And then you had to check if there was numbers greater than 0. Use double negative. Put it all in sum. Now I wrote a whole book about formulas like this. And in fact, a whole chapter just on unique count formulas. But we can Control Enter, double click, and send it down. And that's the old school method. Now the question is, if I come over here and type video 7, well, this automatically updates because it's a dynamic spilled array. And although this formula contains dynamic spilled array functions inside of it, it's inside an aggregate function. And you can't spill aggregate functions unless, and this is bonus number two, you use the new lambda function to define a custom function in the worksheet. Now, lambda is only in Microsoft 365. Now, we've always had custom functions in Power Query and VBA, but not in the worksheet. That all changes with lambda. Now, the cool thing is, is I can use this formula, Control C, as a custom function, but I got to put it inside of lambda. Enter. And I want to come over here, and I can't paste that copied formula directly into lambda. I have to use one of seven lambda helper functions. And we're going to use by row, because for the array, what do I want the formula that I just copied to do? I want it to iterate row by row down through this array. And notice the reference to the spilled array is only the top cell, because that's where the formula lives. That pound, or hashtag, is the spilled range operator, comma. Now notice the second argument in by row. It's function. And the only way to get a function in the worksheet is to use lambda. So there's lambda. And in order to get lambda to communicate with by rows, to iterate row by row through that range, is to define a variable, and I'm going to call it v. That v is like the relative cell reference that's going to access each row in by rows. That v is our parameter. Now we comma. And now we're going to do our calculation, Control v And the only thing we have to change is instead of a relative cell reference, I use the variable v. Now I come to the end. That's the calculation. I close on lambda. I close on by row. And when I hit Enter, now we have a dynamic spilled array that's giving us the unique count of dates for each video. Now when I come over here and copy this, all these new records, Control C. When I paste it below, Control V, instantly one, two columns update. Now I could copy these to match the new spilled video criteria. But the data model pivot table doesn't instantly update. But no worries. When new data arrives for a pivot table, you right click and click on Refresh. And now we have our update. I can see down here the wrong number formatting is here. So I'm going to highlight it, go up to Home, and apply General. All right, so in this video, we saw how to use the data model pivot table to create a unique count of dates by video. We saw by rows and lambda to get a spilled result for our count. We saw old school. We saw a new school formula, but you have to copy it. And we learned how to use sort and unique to create a unique list. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video.